If you're planning to travel this summer, be on the lookout for scams. New data from cybersecurity company McAfee predicts one in four people will fall victim to travel scams this summer. News for Dr. reporter Brianna Andrews spoke with experts about the most common scams and how to avoid them. Triple A is already predicting a record breaking summer travel season. Nearly 44 million people will travel 50 miles or more from home this Memorial Day weekend. What we're seeing now is in 2024, four years after the pandemic, the travel industry has just come back in a big way. With booming travel comes a parade of scammers lurking to steal your information. Abhishek Karnik, the head of threat intelligence research at McAvey, says it's a lot easier to do it with the help of artificial intelligence. Some of the scams that you're seeing more recently are deep fakes, which in a live video call, you might actually fake the person on screen. You know, those are the more advanced ones, but the most simple ones are when somebody uses like AI to generate a very realistic email. McAvey conducted a survey that found more than one of three Americans say the rise of AI in deep fakes changed their level of trust in planning and booking vacations. And nearly 25% of victims lost $1,000 or more on a single travel scam. You want to be vigilant when you're booking because if you run across copycat websites or phishing websites or type of squatting where, you know, they change bookings.com to replace the O's with the zeros, it looks and feels uh, it reads pretty much as bookings.com, but it may not be bookings.com. Karnak says it's also important to have a level of skepticism when looking through online reviews before booking. Don't take everybody's word for it. The FTC says there are other telltale signs of a scam, like a promise of a free vacation, using wire transfers or gift cards for payment, and limited details about your vacation. Experts also suggest being extra cautious when scanning a QR code and using public Wi-Fi. That's an easy way for scammers to steal your information. If you or someone you know is a victim of a scam, you can report it to the FTC by visiting ftc.gov. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.